The history is a large part of what makes Upper Michigan someplace special. Tonight in the second part of our series, Points of Interest, TV6's Beth Cephalou and Anna Samofska take you to where history is preserved. Here's Beth. Where the gliders were produced at Ford Plant in Kingsford. In a county filled with patriotic pride, last year's opening of the World War II Glider and Military Museum couldn't have opened in a better place. Residents can see one of only eight restored CG-4A gliders left in the world. Most of these were lost in combat, and there were some that were left over in the community after the war, and we were fortunate to get one of the frames that we could restore. Residents can also take a walk through the pass at the Iron County Historical Museum. It's the UP's largest local museum and stretches across 10 acres of land. It has 26 buildings and over 100 exhibits, including an Iron River native artist, Brandon Giovanelli, who made his home into a work of art. The museum also has a mining memorial listing 563 names of miners who died. Beth Cephalou, TV6 News in Caspian. It's been a staple in the community for more than 25 years. I'm Anna Samovska and I'm standing in the Iron Industry Museum here in Agani Township and there's more to this place than meets the eye. Built in 1986, the museum is dedicated to the three Michigan Iron Ranges. Inside, history is kept alive with the help of artifacts, exhibits and equipment. We feel, at least for our younger visitors, that it's important for them to learn about their heritage and the history of the region, uh, the areas that are involved with iron mining. From there, head to Marquette, where the Regional History Center celebrates decades of service. Its walls tell the story of immigration, trading, and natural resources. This UP story is important to all for um, to build upon because that's where your background has come from. And if you haven't, if your family didn't come from here, you're now part of a community that cares about their regional history. And like the Iron Industry Museum, nearly 12,000 visitors come through each year. Anna Samovska, TV6 News.